Greetings, dear viewers. I'm Coil Quickcard, and welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet the Teal Mask, where once again Karen decides to be a little creep and insists on battling me to see who gets to keep Ogre Pawn, even though Ogre Pawn is clearly perfectly capable of expressing who it wants to be with and has done so, so sure. I have learned my lesson dealing with you. And we're going to start strong. You ready to battle? Oh, yeah. Well then, let's get started. Yeah, you're just... You just kind of suck, frankly. Whoever wins gets to be Ogre Pond's partner. I love the ogre so much, I want to make sure that we definitely ignore anything it might want to say about this. So, don't you dare hold back. I swear, Karen, every time I think I might start to like or tolerate you more... You just screw it up, man. Hello, Shift Tree. I know you're probably a better trainer for Ogre Pond, but I... I... Yeah, um... I don't care, kid. Take an Ice Beam. Really? You survived that? You're not holding back, thank you. But I won't hold back either. Focus Sash? Alright, so what was your strategy that you wanted to make sure this thing lived a turn for? To hit me with one Leaf Blade. Good plan, Kieran. That was a real solid plan you had there. Probo Pass. Well, funny thing about Probo Pass, um, it doesn't like Hydro Pumps, and I missed. Zap Cannon, okay. Way less accurate than my Hydro Pump. And you've got Sturdy, so you survive that. And a Pattaya Berry. Drop a Power Gem. Genuinely impressed! You actually managed to take out my level 100 Iron Bumble. Not bad. But now Talonflame can get off a free Frame Charge boost. Get him flame charge. Excellent. Okay. Uh, Yon Mega comes next. I should be faster than Yon Mega now. And acrobatics. Okay. Oh, God, you've got a berry, too. Uh, a key berry to boost your defense. Uh, ancient power kills, I think. Oh, crap, he got the Omni boost off of it. Okay, okay. Fair enough. Um then I need to send in something that's going to be strong and fast. Ice Spinner. Bug Buzz, that's not going to do much. And even still, that hurt pretty, pretty good. Good. Polyrath. 
Um. I think the best I can hope for for Polyrath is to stick with my Dragonite. Uh. Hmm. I imagine Outrage would kill in two. Okay. Oh my god, kid. You and your berries. Okay, Citrus for the heal. You don't have enough health for Belly Drum, but good thinking! If you had actually managed to pull that out, uh, Belly Drum Citrus Berry. Good strap. Uh, Diplin. Okay. I still have one more Outrage left in me. Evasiveness down. Yeah, kid, while you were training apples and bugs, I was training dragons and beings from the future. And the past. Gliscor! Uh, really should switch in something else. Uh, ah, screw it. Just go with this Spathra. I just don't want to leave out Dragonite to do something dumb in its confusion. It's not over yet. I'm tired of losing. Then stop losing. Stop picking fights you can't win. You want to know the real secret to winning? That's it. Don't pick fights you can't win. Alright, Spathra, you're up. And you're going to die immediately to an X scissor, aren't you? But at least they'll let me switch back to Dragonite. Oh no, you go first with the Psychic. That won't kill, but it should hurt like hell. Huh, I'm still alive. Well, bye, Gliscor. What a beautiful victory. Not bad. Figures. Yeah, it does. Now get out of here, you little creep. I knew I couldn't win. But I just couldn't give up. I'm sorry. Oh, Kiki. Han? I think it's time for you to catch Ogre Pond Quill. Yeah, before Kieran does anything else stupid. Hello, Ogre Pawn. Okay, I'm fully recovered again. Let's do this. Seems Ogre Pawn wants to test its strength against you. Do you want to battle Ogre Pawn so that you can catch it? Yes. Yes, I do. Pawn you! Oh! Fire mask, huh? Oh, cool. It changes its, like, cover, too. Well, Talonflame was a bad choice. Gah! Ponyo! Oh, okay. 
Whoa! Holy crap! It terrestrialized its mask! So this is what Ogre Pond's really capable of. In body aspect? Powerfline mask, uh, holy crap. Okay. So it gets free stat upgrades by terrestrializing and can terrestrialize into different types. That's pretty damn cool. Um... Might as well hit it with a couple acrobat- Oh, god, really? <laughs> really? What acrobatics did that much? Oh, that mask looks awesome. Okay, Ivy Cudgel. I mean, I imagine that would have been a really cool attack animation, but I literally couldn't see it. Yeah, I, I literally... I mean, it's called Ivy Cudgel, so I assume you're beating me with a cudgel, like in that one still image, but I can't see it. Alright. So. Oh, good god. Stone Edge. Look at you adapting to Ogre Pond's type. I knew you could handle this. Not bad. Memories of adventuring with you grant Ogre Pond strength. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's a marathon fight. Okay. You embody the aspect and raise your special defense. Impressive. And there isn't much on my team that can handle water type, except for Golem who would die in one hit anyway. But Iron Bundle can. So Ivy Cudgel must be changing types to go along with the mask. Or more likely, probably it goes with whatever its Terra type is. Critical hit, wellspring down. You really are good, Quill. I'm no match. That's right, you aren't. Okay, water mask down. That leaves two more. Memories of working together to retrieve the masks grant Ogre upon strength. So I assume this makes you rock type. Oh, that's actually kind of creepy. Does that raise your defense? Uh, yep. Well, I'm sure a flip turn can handle this. Okay. Um... I don't know, a Spathra? Why not? I just want to do something other than literally kill his entire team using just Iron Bundle. Oh, I... Sh I should have had a Spathra out here from the start. It would have been getting, uh boosts off of all of those stat changes. Yeah, I don't think there's really much I can do here except rely on Iron Bundle. Um, yeah. 
Unfortunately, with rock types, it can actually hurt me pretty damn badly. I miss. Okay, you're wasting a turn to set up grassy terrain again. Interesting choice. Come on, there you go. Ogre Pond down, so that only leaves the grass map. Memories of a partner from long, long ago grant Ogre Pond strength. And here's the trailer shot. That is really cool. What does that raise? Uh, your speed. Okay. Still is probably not going to outspeed Iron Bundle, though. Okay. I think that's everything Ogre Pond's got. Now's your chance to catch it! Uh, what do I want to put you into? I mean, I think the friend ball... Yeah, the friend ball matches you too perfectly in the color. And it's even got bits of other colored dots in it, so, you know, it sort of fits your ability to change form. Ogre Pawn, the Masked Pokemon. This Pokemon's type changes based on which mask it's wearing. It confounds its enemies with nimble movements and kicks. Wow. So its masks are actually capable of terrestrializing. That is weird. How the hell do Terra Crystals work? Ogre Pawn entrusted you with the Cornerstone Mask, Wellspring Mask, and Hearthflame Mask. You put the mask in your bag's other items pocket. I got Ogre Palm. Hey, well done, Quill. That was pretty impressive. C congratulations. Thanks, Karen. Yeah. Why? Why can't I be like you, Quill? <laughs> Yeah, I thought you might get some kind of resolution there. Ugh. I hate when he gets like that. Don't worry about him. He's the one who said the winner gets to become Ogre Pond's partner. Come on. Let's head home. So all that leaves is the Loyal Three. Somewhere out there. I capture them, and I have every single Pokemon from the Kitakami region. Hey Quill, good morning. I've got a message from Carmine. She says she's waiting for you at Loyalty Plaza, and that you should hurry up and meet her there. Say, why do you two always use me as your messenger boy, huh? That's actually a really good question, since we both have been seen to have Rotom phones. Do Rotom phones not have texting? So, we've got masks. The Cornerstone, the Wellspring, and the Hearthflame. And we have got Ogre Pond, level 70, grass type. It's got Ivy Cudgel with a power of 100. Uh, the moves type changes depending on the mask worn by the user, and it has a heightened chance of landing a critical hit. Not bad. 
and you've got low kick, attack, and speed are your best stats. Other moves you've got double kick, horn leech, wood hammer, superpower, spiky shield. Interesting. Uh, power whip. You don't have the other mask though so if i give you one of the masks will you actually change form like in the in the thing like in the actual boxes <laughs> yes you do okay so it adds the water type it does not remove you it does not remove the type Okay, that's interesting. And then, if you went into battle with that, then Ivy Cudgel would be a water type. Okay. Interesting. But that means I don't still actually have the teal mask yet. That is a very interesting Pokemon. They've found ways to make some very interesting, um... Uh... Some very interesting DLC Pokemon. Hey, Perrin. Crazy that time we managed to catch a deadly killer bear, huh? I've been waiting for you to come by, partner. I managed to develop the photos I took of the Blood Moon Beast. Show me! Oh, well, the fact is that once I got them all printed out, I can see that the photos I managed to get are all blurry or cut off or out of focus. <sighs> they really aren't good enough to show anyone. Not even you, partner. But still, out of all the photos I've ever taken, I think they may be my favorites. I think I'd gotten too caught up in my own head, worrying about framing or what judges might say, always thinking about what I ought to capture. But just capturing your subjects as they are, that's what photos should be. Hey, Perrin, why don't you take a picture of that house behind you? I, I saw it appear out of nothing. It might be a ghost house. You taught me something important, partner, so thanks for that. Ah, oh, that's right, your name. I never even asked you your name, partner. Well, that's awful of me after all you did to help, but mind teaching me your name? Uh, m my name is Quill. Quill? What's with that dark look? Don't want me to know your name or something? I'm fine with it. Um, just don't mention it to the authorities when you get back to Seno. No reason to... No, 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 no reason. Just please don't ignore the color of my hair. Well then, nice to officially meet you, Quill. Name's Perrin, a photographer with a renewed love of photography. I could say that with pride now. Ah, and your reward. You earned yourself a real choice reward for all the help you've been. A choice scarf. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, and this Growlithe of mine has a younger brother that really loves battling. I think he'll do a better job of raising it good and strong. Alright, we got ourselves a Hisuian Growlithe. Raise it to be real strong, okay? I think that about wraps it up. I did what I came here to do, so I guess I should hit the road. I'm afraid this is goodbye. But you know... Growlithe like these are known for living and working together in pairs. Even if they are separated for a while, I bet their paths might just cross again someday. So you raise that one with care in the meantime. I will raise him to be very strong. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what you pull off. I've got high hopes. So bye for now, Quill. Until next time. Bow wow! Aww. We got ourselves a new friend. I'm gonna train up that one and use it in the second part of the DLC. 
that's gonna be fun and cute. Let's see, Loyalty Plaza is just right up there, right? Yeah. Come on, Karaidon, you can climb the cliff. This is not a complicated cliff. I am curious where and when I'm going to actually catch the Loyal Three, though. There you are. You took your time. You really battled great yesterday, Quill. I guess the Mask Retrieval Squad has completed its mission. Though Kiki... Well, he's shut himself in his room ever since he got home yesterday. He won't come out? Yeah. Oh, but you don't need to feel guilty or anything, Quill. It all started because I said we should keep the whole Ogre Pond thing a secret. And you wouldn't think it, but Kiki's got a bit of an ego, too. He doesn't take losing well. Anyway, how's Ogre Pond doing? I'll be honest, I've grown real fond of Ogre Pond myself. Guess Kiki's rubbed off on me a bit. Do you think you could let me have a battle with Ogre Pond? Yeah, sure, why not? I knew you'd say yes. You're not one to turn down a good battle. Let me know when you're ready. Do I actually have to have Ogre Pond in my party to fight you? I mean, he's probably as good as anything else. Or will you just let me bat heal you without him? Okay, okay. I will actually put Ogre Pawn on the team. Come on, Ogre Pawn. Uh, you can you can replace that Mew that I never really used for its false swipes and thunder waves. Wow, that. Yeah, that thing is a little more than slightly injured. Okay. Here we go. Let's do this. So, Carmine, I bet you have actually a pretty good team, huh? I mean, it's definitely got to be better than Kieran's, given that Karen sucks. Alright, Carmine, what are you opening with? Mighty Enna. Okay. Uh, this is not particularly good for me. But it's not terrible, and I do have my Dazzling Gleam. Very good. Nearly killed. Yeesh, you really hit where it hurts, don't you? I bet you're real popular back home. I am. I have very lovely friends. Also, thank you for raising my stats. Dazzling Gleam. Okay, who's next? Levani. Uh, I think Talonflame is in a better shape to handle this one. There are so many grass types in this, uh, in this DLC. You have Diplin, you have the new, uh, Pult- er, uh, Sinistjaw line, uh, you've got, uh, Diplin, Morpeko, Uh, sure, Dragonite. You've got Diplin, you've got the Levani line, you've got just... You've just got so many things. Oh, 
Okay. Brick break. And you are still alive because you got the focus sash, just like when we fought against the Loyal Three. And there's the Thunder Wave. Okay. Paralyzed. Keep going. Come on, Dragonite, you can do this. There you go. Alright, are you switching to Sinistra? No, you're going for a Nine Tails. Nine Tails is weak against Rock. And I don't think a Nine Tails. Well, actually, if it has high horsepower, then I'm just dead. No, it's for extra sensory. Stone Edge misses. And it disabled Stone Edge. Okay. Alright then, Double Edge, because why not? Oh, and then you burn me to reduce my attack. Okay, uh, well played. So this probably doesn't kill. Wow. So, pretty much just have to switch on that one. Alright, Iron Bundle then. Flip turn. Very good. Um. Let's go Talonflame. Yup, Sinistra, I figured. It's weak to acrobatics. There's acrobatics one. Stun Spore. Paralysis is always annoying. But Talonflame went through because it loves me. Sinistra is down. Corbine is beat. Sheesh, you're seriously too strong. And you never even saw Ogre Pawn. Ah, I lost, but I'm also not surprised. You and Ogre Pawn really do get along, don't you? It's almost making me jealous. Pawn Pawn! I actually, uh... Sheesh, this is awkward to tell you, but I... Row ta tao ta tao Hey there, Quill. This is Briar. It seems all student pairs have completed their orienteering as of this morning. The caretaker wanted to have some words, so could you head back to the community center? Message received, loud and clear. Ah, a Carmine is with you. Oh, wonderful! That's one less phone call I have to make. You kids never cease to amaze me. It seems you become fast friends the moment you spend even the briefest amount of time together. Well, 
Head over to the community center. I'll be there with the rest of the students. Yeah, she's right about it being the briefest amount of time. We only just became friends, and now we... Oh, well. Let's go see what the nosy old guy wants. I don't really want to, but I guess I can't play nice one last time. I don't suppose if I headed to where the where I first encountered the Loyal Three, I would just find one again, would I? Like, it's not that simple that they're just in the same spots now, is it? Because it would be really cool to just get to catch them all now. Mm. No such luck. So, if Ogre Pond just isn't holding a mask, does it have the teal mask by default? Yes, it does. Okay, so by default, it's wearing the teal mask. So that's why I don't have the teal mask as an item. But it does mean that with the teal mask, I can give it another item to hold instead. Fascinating. There's gotta be some cool builds you can do with, uh, with Ogre Pawn. No, I don't... Stop. How, how did I screw that up that badly? Look. Community Center. Fly. Thank you. And if it doesn't trigger a cutscene, first thing I'll want to do is talk to maybe still Nurse Joy and heal up. Okay. I really want to get those last three Pokemon. I want to finish my decks. I want to do it on this episode if I can. Okay. So, are all school trips like this where they have no planned activities? Ah, oh, Quill! Everybody's here! Well, most of us are here anyway. Now then, the caretaker has some words for us. Let's all give him our full attention. Ah, yes. Thank you for coming. I've been told that our student pairs have now finished visiting all the signboards in Kitakami, which means your self-guided tour is at an end. Hear that? We did it! We found them all! That was so much fun! What have you kids been doing for three days? I unraveled the secrets of this place, befriended and captured an ancient Pokemon, and a, a blood bear. Why, thank you for saying so, and thanks for taking part. On that note, I've got a little gift for each of you. It's an even longer selfie stick! You receive the Kitakami Mochi Set from the Caretaker. Put the Kitakami Mochi Set in your uh, bag's items. Truth be told, I didn't think you'd wrap up the tour this quickly. You're quite the prodigies. Our visitors from Paldea still have heaps of time left to enjoy all, uh, Kitakami and all it has to offer. Continue to make yourselves at home and explore as you please. However... I'm sorry for suddenly springing this on you, but... Uh, Carmine, Kieran, and I will need to return to Blueberry Academy a little early. Why? Again, truly sorry, but there have been some developments concerning the Great Crater. I'm afraid we really must be heading back. I realize I was here as your chaperone, but you kids have all proven to be very capable. I'm sure you'll be fine without me. Thank you so much for looking after them in my stead. Don't mention it. You can leave these kids to me. Now then, Carmine, I believe you had something you wanted to say. Yes. Unfortunately, 
My brother's not feeling well, so it's just me here to speak. Anyway, as you all know, this is the village where I was born. And, I'll be honest, I didn't want any outsiders coming here at all. Yikes. I felt like our home was being turned into a tourist trap for a bunch of ignorant strangers. But then we spent some time together, and none of you were the way I imagined you'd be at all. You were all really nice once I actually talked to you. I shouldn't have been so quick to judge people I didn't know anything about. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I had fun. Thank you all so much for visiting our village. Especially you, Quill. Aww. I'm glad you came to visit. I mean, it's not like this is goodbye forever. Blueberry Academy has tons of strong trainers. You'd better come visit soon. Oh, I almost forgot. I still need to get packed and everything. Aw, this is not goodbye, okay? We're definitely gonna see each other again. See, that's nice. That's Carmine for you, I suppose. You never know quite what to expect from her. Each moment spent with you kids is just dazzling. For an adult like me, <laughs> it's almost blinding. Anyway, that about wraps up this school trip. Let's all give our caretaker a great big thank you. Thank you. Now please let me go. I I have things I need to catch. And not much of an idea of where to catch them. I need to become... I need to become a lot stronger. Stronger. Stronger! Stronger and stronger and stronger! Jeez, that is a creepy smile. Just you wait, Quill. Oh my god, I think he just tied up his hair ribbon thing. I don't even know what to call that thing in front of his face. That is really ominous. I really think I'm right getting the creeps from that Kieran. He is not well. Whew. Um. So, uh, I have a few guesses about what I might need to do. First thing I wonder is, does visiting the Loyalty Plaza again do anything? Uh, this is where the Loyal Three were supposedly interred. Okay, so it's not there. Um, now that I have cleared all that, are they... Are, are they back where they originally were? It definitely looks like it. Okay. We're going straight into catching strats. Uh, false Swipe, Thunder Wave, Mew. This is real legend catching time. Hello, Monkey Dory. I did not save before I started this fight. That was very stupid of me. That's okay. If it gets down to, like, really, really, really rough, I have four Master Balls on me. Okay. Alright, let's do this. Perfect. 
one more and it'll be an optimal catch range. A nasty plot's probably not going to be much of a threat from you. Let the balling begin. Uh, it's actually night right now, which means Dusk Balls are going to have the highest uh, catch rate. Okay. It's not going to make this easy on me. It's actually going to make me put in the work to catch. But, even so, Dusk Balls are obscenely good in the dark. More nasty plots. When you use Future Sight and it finally hits, does it hit with your special attack from when it was from when it was started, or from or from uh, when it triggers? Wow, that was alarmingly powerful. Uh, this thing is actually strong enough to be a serious threat. Dusk Ball, come on. Okay. Holy crap. One shot from Psychic. Uh, Espathra, you're up. Last Dusk Ball. Dusk Ball would have been a real good one for Ogre Pong, too. Oh my god, even resisted, it nearly killed in one hit. That is actually insane. Okay, down to Ultra Balls. Okay. Uh, it's nearly time to switch to Timer Balls. Timer Balls are at maximum power from 10 turns on. Alright, we got 25 Timer Balls. Let's go. You are being a real jerk. Still, I respect the difficulty. This is what catching legends should feel like. Us Pokemon trainers who have been around a while know what it feels like to go into a legendary fight with 50 Ultra Balls and still have to reset the game three or four times before you actually pull off a win. Still, I'm not going to be risking that. If I get down to my last Pokemon, I'm just going to chuck the Master Ball. Sludge Wave, that's going to kill. Iron Bundle's still got more HP and higher stats. Come on, Timer Balls, let's go. Okay, that didn't do it. It's wasting moves. I'm going to catch these things on this episode. I got one shake. It feels kind of weird uh, having this much trouble catching such a small Pokemon. Come on. I can still catch this without using up a Master Ball. Oh, I thought that was going to be it. I really thought that was going to be it right there. Let's go, timer. 
Nope. Okay. And I think Future Sight kills me now. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Okay. Master Ball it is. Talonflame, you're in. Master Ball, go. It was an absolute pleasure doing battle against you, Monkey Dory. Not bad. It's The chain is made from toxins that enhance capabilities. It stimulated Monkey Dory's brain and caused the Pokemon's psychic powers to bloom. Oh, fascinating. The Retainer Pokemon. Two Pokemon left, and the Dex is complete. First stop, heal up. I'm almost done. All right, I'll go to the other side of the counter. It actually is quite impressive that the uh, Pokemon healing technology can now fit just, you know, in a little basic area like that. Oh, the Pokeball emote. Interesting. Um, is the bird going to be over here, or is it going to be at the base of the cave, like it was when I actually fought it? Huh. There is definitely some weird stuff going on with these, uh, with, with Terra Crystals, like, they've just got some really weird powers that don't quite all make sense. They let someone build a time machine, they let that same person build, uh, a robot with capabilities that shouldn't have been possible. You know, at least if you believe the, uh, the words of, um, uh, of the, uh, of the robot professor, you know, they clearly have been around for a very long time since the, uh, ogre pawn masks include them as materials. And those are several generations old. I don't know, there's, there's a lot of weirdness there. It'll be interesting when we get to the, uh, to the, um, to the second part of the DLC and, uh, meet Terrapagos and you know, actually get a sense of hopefully what and how and why Terra Crystals are the way they are. Okay. Thunder Wave. Beat up. Okay, that is not gonna do crap. False swipe. Pretty good defenses there, Pheasantipity. Okay. Oh, crap. It has roost. Damn it. It is going to be a real pain in the butt to deal with that. 
and it can confuse me. Okay. Uh, settle in. This is going to be a long attempt to capture. Okay. If I'd known it would be like this, I would have stocked up on more, uh, on more Dusk Balls. That's okay, though. We'll just keep throwing things at it. And eventually it'll be time to switch to the Timer Balls. Uh, that was turn either four or five. I did one paralysis, three false swipes, two balls. So that should be attack seven. Which means that this should be turn eight. Two more turns until maximum for timer balls. Okay. Toxic Chain. Turn 9. And we're going into turn 10. Timer Balls should be ready. Let's go, Timer Balls. It's got 1 HP and it's paralyzed. Unfortunately, it also has Roost. That's the real problem here. Come on. Sooner or later, you're going to stay in a ball. I'm going to make you. Oh my god, it has Flatter and Swagger. And Beat Up and Roost. This thing is nothing but a stall build. Please don't Roost. Okay, it's not. What a tremendously annoying uh, Pokemon this is. Uh, I think I need this... Well, let me think here. It is going to be super easy to accidentally kill this thing if I try to chip damage it. So, I think my best option is to bring back Mew. Yep, there's a roost. I am scared to death of trying to chip damage this with anyone else. Keeping track in my head of how much damage attacks are likely to do based on all the boosts that are flying around sounds like a serious challenge. Okay, false swipe. Alright. It's below a third, so it's at optimal already. I don't need to get at one for it to be optimal odds. Below a third, it's all diminishing returns. There's the flatter. Oh, that is an annoying bird. One of these days, you're going to stay in the ball. Okay, there's a swagger. At least it's not just spending all its time roosting. And with the boosted attack from swagger, my false swipes will do more damage even after it does roost. So it allows me to reset fairly easily. It's 
still can't get it. That is a very annoying Pokemon to get. Damn. Come on, come on. Damn. Really thought I had it there. You're going to get in the ball. You are going to stay in the ball. There is no other outcome to this. I am quickly running out of my timer balls. Damn! It just plays with my emotions. Every time it shakes three times, my brain feels like I'm getting closer. But I know that's not true. It is an illusion of progress. It is an illusion of success. This is a single roll on an RNG table. It just so happens that the odds of success are not particularly good. I didn't save before I fought this again, did I? Okay. If I run out of all my timer balls, I will just throw a Master Ball. That'll be my... That'll be my cutoff point for this fight. Okay, it's down to one. I have two more Timer Balls. Is it going to be the second of the three to make me resort to a Master Ball? Because it is really looking that way. Yep, okay, we're going for a second Master Ball. Well, I did my best not to use another Master Ball, but here we are. In you go. And in you will stay. Pheasantipity. Pheasantipity owes its beautiful looks and lovely voice to the toxic stimulants emanating from the chain wrapped around its body. And it's Poison Fairy? Huh. What a strange Pokemon that is. Alright, let's top off one more time. And then we're going to go catch Okie Dokie. Okie Dokie. Uh, for that fight, honestly, I'm just going to start the fight and then cut to when I catch it. I, I'm actually going to do it properly. I do not want to use three Master Balls to catch these damn things. But I forgot to save before I fought the first two, so... Yeah, I didn't want to, uh, risk... Uh, doing anything. Um, we can open with a quick ball on the last one. Uh, I can go for 30 timer balls. Eh, just pay with the LP, what do I care? <laughs> Is that one of the cryptic currencies? Okay, okay, I'll... Oh no, it is crypto. Um... Honestly, I am out of Dusk Balls too. Okay. 
Uh, do I have a flying point up there? I do. And it's right up there, I think. Okie dokie, where are you? There you are. Okay. I am saving? I am starting the fight. And, uh, I will see you when I finally get it to stick in the damn ball. go. Okie dokie has been caught. The last of the loyal three, the retainer Pokemon. After all its muscles were stimulated by the toxic chain around its neck, Okie dokie transformed and gained a powerful physique. So each one of them, their toxic chain is being worn uh, in a way that you would see from a more Japanese style of fashion, specifically a more like traditional one. So I like that, and poison fighting as expected. And that is a complete Kitakami Pokedex. Uh, first things first, let's actually take a look at our three. They all share the ability Toxic Chain. Uh, Monkey Dory, very high on special attack. Uh, Pheasantipity, uh, a nice mix of stats. Its best is special defense, and Okie Dogi gets the attack. What, what, what other, what other kind of attacks does, does Pheasantipity get? Like, what, what can you actually do other than that, because that is just a crappy combination of abilities. <laughs> Not much in your list that's actually poison or actually fairy type. Uh, but that's it. That was the last entry on the complete Kitakami Pokedex. I did it. I have actually done it. Let's go talk to um, my teacher. I forget his name, but first things first. Kitakami Pokedex, 200 caught, 200 battled. You completed the Kitakami Pokedex. That means you've encountered every single Pokemon there is defined in the land of Kitakami. Exploring new places on your own two feet is a real treasure of an experience, isn't it? You know, I think you deserve a special diploma in recognition of this magnificent achievement. Come and find me in the tall grass on Reveler's Road when you have some time. The Pokedex completion mark has been added. The reward is gotten. And a Moon Ball. So I guess I made the good po the good choice to put Ursaluna in it. Congratulations on completing the Kitakami Pokedex. Absolutely perfect. Now, let's go get my second diploma and bring this DLC to an end. Or at least the, you know, recorded part. There's still a lot more I'm going to do.
Jacques, that was your name. Hello, hello, Quill. Looks like you've caught 200 kinds of Pokemon that can be found around the land of Kitakami. Wait, are you telling me you've caught them all? Wow, wow, a complete Kitakami Pokedex. This is great. No, you're great. Thanks to all your hard work, I don't think there's anything more to be done when it comes to surveying the Pokemon that live here in Kitakami. I really wish I had something to give to you to commemorate all your effort. Give me your job. I'm better at it than you. Oh, I know. I'll give you this charm I got at Kitakami Hall. It's a limited edition souvenir they only sell here. The Glimmering Charm. The Glimmering Charm in your bag's key items pocket. Having one of these mysterious Glimmering Charms increases the number of Terra Shards you receive from Terra Raid Battles. That's pretty cool! Oh, and can you show me your Rotom phone for a second? Thanks to the diploma feature Director Clavel helped with, we can celebrate your achievement in style, Quill. See? You can get a special message from the company that certifies Pokedex completion. Trainer Quill, we hereby certify your achievement of completing the Kitakami Pokedex. May this great feat be celebrated by all. You may have completed this Pokedex, but that doesn't mean your school trip has to end. I hope you'll keep meeting lots and lots of new Pokemon friends around Kitakami. Oh, I plan to. There is still much more to do, and honestly, now that the, uh... Now that I have used up so much space in all my boxes, I'm going to have to start transferring Pokemon over to other accounts on the Switch just to keep my living decks organized. But that is the end of my Kitakami adventure and Pokemon Scarlet the Teal Mask. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all when the Indigo Disc comes out. <laughs>